Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bog Otter. I'm excited to take a sponsored look at Inglunati, which is hitting early access on January 31st. Thanks so much to Dedalic Entertainment and Yaza Games for sponsoring today's segment. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the beginning of the game. I've already done the tutorial. Uh, this game hits early access on January 31st. It's going to be out on Steam, GOG, Xbox, uh, and Mac. And then after the early access period, it's also going to be uh, out on the Switch. Um, let's take a look and have some fun. Uh, new journey. How would you rate your skill with living ink? Hmm. I'm going to go with normal, normal. And we get to create a character here. I could be an alewife, a miller, or a loony. Loony, loony, loony. I think I'm going to be a loony, right? We want to go with the master Yoda. Look here. Let's go with that one. All right. And the master's second cousin twice removed. Growing up in the orphanage wasn't too hard on him. Okay. My name. My name is... Let's go with something... Regal. Oatmeal. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. All right, we get to choose uh, our beasts. What is our army? So this is the rabbit army. This is the dog army. So the rabbits have sword-wielding rabbit, spear-wielding rabbit, and bow-wielding rabbit. Looks like the dogs have the same. And then there's some we have to unlock. Okay, cool. Yeah, in one of the tutorial games, I had, like, demons... There's a whole bunch of different factions. All right, so we got rabbits or uh, or dogs. Rabbits or dogs? It's year of the rabbit. Everybody's saying different things here. All right, let's do dogs. Dogs. Move left. Move right. Oh, you can choose which hand actions you have. Okay. So yeah, so some of these are, uh, are you have to unlock with prestige. Okay, so this is the ability to do healing on a beast for four health. Or I think the other one's going to be poking. Swat. Okay, I'm going to choose swat. And then the talent. Each halo increases the beast's damage and accuracy. So uh, all of this is covered in the tutorial, like what these things are. So don't uh, don't feel overwhelmed by the choices here. I've already done the tutorial. Um, Halo. Basic resource of Inkaluni duels. Allows you to draw beasts. Can be obtained. Okay. Living ink. Grants four drops of living ink if a hand action kills a beast. Ah. Or this one. Hand action used on a friendly beast increases their Halo level by one. Interesting. All right. Let's do extra ink. Which is basically your mana to summon creatures and stuff like that. All right. So here we go. Oatmeal. Here's my whole thing. A character screen. All right, start at chapter one here. Today, you will pass your final exam, become an Inkalunati master, and then set off on your Inkalunati journey. You still have to face a wild beast encounter before you can take your exam, though. Wild beast encounter? Just select the wild beast encounter icon. Tiny Inkalunati versus wild beast encounters are marked with a sword and quill icon. The enemy. Tiny Inca Lunati is not present in this type of battle. Oh, okay. Yes, Master. So here we go. All right, we're going to be up against all kinds of beasts. Sir Snail, the Bishop Cat, and some rabbits. Let's go. Let's do this. Chapter 1. You're going to encounter various beasts, battlefield elements, and random events. If you spot a beast or an element you haven't seen before, use hints and instructions to learn more. Press the assigned button to toggle hints. Okay. Press the assigned button to open the instructions tab. Food for thought. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, in here... Oh, I'm sorry. This one. You can get basics on, like, everything. So if you're like, I, I don't know how to push enemies, they'll, they'll explain it, right? So they've got all of that at your disposal right up here at the top. 
which is great. Okay, so um, normally you're going to have, this is your tiny Inkalunati, right? This is my character, Oatmeal. Normally there'll be another one of these on the opposite side once you get more advanced. And it's really a battle between the two tiny Inkalunati. You summon monsters, you try to either kill the opponent's, um, you know, main hero or knock them off the edge of the map. Uh, but this seems to be a little bit different. I'm starting in the middle of the map. This is a clothing chest, which is uh, an obstacle that can be destroyed. And we've got enemy here and an enemy here. So I think I just got to defeat both of them. So I have um, a number of ink to use on the top left hand corner. We've got 12 ink and you can see the cost to summon uh, these units. So I'm going to summon a sword wielding dog and throw him over here. There's my my oh. character drawing it into the manuscript using living ink. And uh let's let's do a spear one over here. Now, you notice the ink that we're standing in and the ink over the heads. That means if we end the turn we should collect all that ink and it'll put it up over on the top left for me. So you want to try to stand in these ink blots as much as possible. Yeah. Um, there's so much information on those mouse overs. You can hit Q and it'll do a simplified version. So you hit Q and it gives you everything or you can toggle it down to bite-sized information. Yeah. In case it's over overload. Yeah, but basically, you know, it's pretty straightforward. This is how much health the unit has. This is the range of their attacks. Spears have more range than swords, and bows have more range than spears. Uh, this is the damage range that the weapon can do, and then how far they can move. Uh, four, you can do four movement and still do an action, or six movement uh, and not do an action. Yeah, and then there's, you know, obviously special abilities that, that go with them as well. But All right, um... So when you summon creatures, they have summoning sickness, right? Which is present in a lot of different card games. They can't do anything the turn they come into play. They need to take a nap. Um, I could do something with my uh, my tiny Inkle Lunati here. I can move him. I can, I can actually use him to move other people. I can swat at things if they're in range. I don't think these guys are in swat range. You can see the purple shows me the range of my swat. So we're just going to rest. Take a nap. Okay, and we got the 10 ink that we were sitting on. All right, it doesn't look like the opponents did anything, which is good. We like that. Oh, maybe they do. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right, they're trying to break through our, uh, our uh, clothing racks. Collecting ink in wild encounters is important too. For every 12 drops of living ink drained, you receive a special bonus. All your beasts will regain some health and obtain positive status effects. I know, I did speak too soon. <laughs> A halo. Okay, be careful. The enemy army can benefit from draining ink too. Okay. Nice. All right, so the other one just stood there. Okay, the other one just stood there. So this one's going to come and try to kill our master. Um, can I attack him through? I don't think so. No. I wonder if I should uh, break through that or let him break through that. No, I'm going to let him break through that. Waste his turn. So this is like rolling a die. The result would have been the same no matter what because it didn't have a lot of hit points. He's going to come up and probably stab me. How dare you? How dare you do that? And then I have a choice to make. I can run up you know what? I'm gonna run up. And I'm gonna spear him. Impalement. Attacks an adjacent field and the one behind it. Oh, okay. And I can also push them. I can also do a prayer, gives them a halo and makes them unpushable. I'll just spear him. Here we go. How much damage? Big Ooh, big box! No whammies! 
Does it matter which direction your people are facing? Atta getting attacked from behind does more damage. Um, but it doesn't like take you movement points to turn around or anything like that. I wonder. What is the range on the bow? Let's put another dog. Let's put another sword wielding dog here. I, I like that they clap for you after you uh, do it. All right, now we can swat. I'm going to swat this one. Ugh. <laughs> I kind of love that. He's down to six hit points. All right, and um, can I move them? I could push them back too. I don't need to do that. Pushing, pushing is really useful when you get to the edge of a map. That's how you can win a lot of times. You can push the opponent uh, off the map. Um, your character can push things. Your Inca Lunati can push things. So can units. They can push as well. Let's take a nap. Yeah. Valoroka, you have to share this game with friends of yours that studied Old English lit in college. Yeah, this is the the actual art, the actual art style and some of the characters. Um, like, for example, snails being like a very aggressive unit um, is all taken from medieval manuscripts where they did really crazy weird art in the margins of these ancient tomes waiting like 700 years to be discovered and converted into a video game. <laughs> the devs actually have videos that you can watch about the inspiration for the art. Yeah, so it's great. Um, okay. So he never he never broke this down, did he? I'm gonna have to do it then. Wabbit season. Duck season. Alright, so after he attacks he can't he can't move or do anything else. See, that's what he was waiting to do. What a jerk. I fell into his trap. He was patient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Oh, you know what? I think um I don't know. All right, hold on. Let's let's fight this guy. We should be able to take him out. If I don't roll bad. Here we go. We got him. <coughs> Silly wabbit. Okay, now can I move all the way over here? I can. Okay, perfect. Cleave. Silly wabbit. All right. I'm overthinking that a lot, but it's super easy in the beginning. I played like a, a duel after the tutorial yesterday, and it was really hard. <laughs> so in comparison to that, uh, this is this was way easier. Okay, I love winning. I can't believe it. I had the advantage. End. Okay. Oh, boredom stats. They have an interesting feature in this. Um, if you keep summoning the same unit over and over and over again, your art, because you're basically drawing these characters with living ink. So your Inkalunati gets bored and then the cost of summoning them goes up, which is interesting. All right, we got five prestige, 25 gold, nice. Your health regenerates a little bit after every battle. And how many points, you may ask? Like I said at the beginning, that depends on your difficulty. What if I lose all my health? If your health drops to zero, the battle's lost. When you lose a battle, you'll be restored to full health and lose one quill. If you lose a battle and don't have any quills left, your journey's over. Okay, so these are like your lives. Inklunati get tired of drawing beasts. Every time they draw a beast, their boredom level goes up. The higher the boredom, the more ink it costs to draw a beast. Now repeat. The Inklunati are always bored. Bad answer. <laughs> Wrong again. Uh, they're never bored. Bad answer. All right. The higher the boredom, the more ink it costs. To decrease boredom, draw different beasts in your next battle. Fight a beast versus beast battle or visit the chapel. Got it? Yes. All right, if I change my army, what can I change? How can I change? I don't have other units, so I can't really change them. Let's go. Doot. 
do, 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 do. Thanks, Valoroka. Yeah, thanks for sharing the stream with your friends, gang. I appreciate that. By the way, if this game was looking interesting to you as I play through it today, um, type hashtag game if you're watching on Twitch or if you're watching on Steam, just click that wish list button down there. If you're not ready to pull the trigger on purchasing and getting into early access, wish list it. That helps our sponsor. That helps the Dalek Entertainment and Yaza Games show that you're interested. Yeah. Thank you for everybody that's done that already. Um, by the way, this is uh, pre-recorded. Um, if you're watching on Steam, hello. You can always find uh, my stream over at twitch.tv slash bogotter, but I may be playing something else because this is, like I said, pre-recorded on January 30th of 2023. All right, battlefield level. Sometimes your beasts will need to move up or down a level on the battlefield. Non-flying beasts can use ladders. Flying beasts don't need to. You can sometimes use beast actions, even attack enemies in different levels. Not with a sword, though. Okay, so maybe the bows and the spears can attack other levels. Got it. Oh, this is a lot more complicated already. All right. So, we've got a uh, John Doe donkey over here. We've got a dog with a spear, a dog with a bow. These look like explosion uh, urns, braziers. I don't know exactly what we should call them. Uh, we probably have to be careful of those. A large pot of beans causes a big explosion when destroyed. Okay, large pot of beans. And I haven't seen... Oh, it's a donkey bard. Yes, there we go. We've got butt trumpets. One of the abilities of the donkey bard is farting the pipe. Affects all enemies up to three fields away. Forces them to take a nap and gives them a really, really bad headache. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think... If I... Can I... Well, if I summon something... I have 12 ink. If I summon an archer, we should be able to explode these. Urns. Next turn. Which would be nice. And if I put another one up there, then I don't think they're going to be able to come up here. So let's do that. And I should be able to swap this guy. Ugh. I don't think that'll ever get old. Now let's just take a nap. He's going to stab up. Okay, good. Or not good, but it puts them in perfect position. Um, I can't attack down. So we'll just nap. Everybody napping, everybody gets ink. I've got a halo, plus two accuracy. All right. I'm just going to stay up here and shoot down these fire pots. He's going to shoot my main guy, though. Yeah, that's not ideal. How to steer your eyes. You can steer your eyes around. Some call it a camera, but we haven't created one yet in medieval times. In order to examine closer manuscripts or study the value field. Okay, this picture will understand how to do it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Um, all right, let's use our archers here and let's see if we can shoot. Oh, it's not going to die with one shot. So what if I use hail of arrows and shoot both? Oh, they rolled different things. Oh, that was not a good roll on the urn. Ooh, that's not bad. Why is this guy still sleeping? Oh, he's already shot. That's why. Let's shoot all three. Okay. That was all right. <laughs> Here comes the donkey bard. Oh, no. All right. Let's move our, uh, our sword guy down and take out this archer. Yeah. There we go. Uh, 
And how far can we go? All the way down? All right. Have to get this donkey next time. Um, I don't know if I need to summon more, but... Let's do it. All right, we can have a maximum number of five beasts. There we go. Do, do, do. This kind of hits early access tomorrow, FPS, on January 31st. Yeah. Um. All right, and I think we are good to go. We just got to beat up the donkey bard and then get out of here. My whole strategy changed from wanting to destroy these pots of beans. <laughs> Gave my dog's headaches. I'd actually put them both to sleep, which not great. Oh. <laughs> if I can't go all the way down. Alright, let's move him up there. I didn't mean to do that. That was a total accident. It's okay. It's alright, though. Seven! That was a good shot. That was a good shot. And can I snub him out? Just swat him to death. No? Swat us too far. All right. Next turn. Donkey gets one more move. <laughs> okay, we got ink drizzles. What's he gonna do? <laughs> okay. He knew he couldn't win. It's all your fault I lost. You're the one that exploded yourself with a pot of beans. Okay there, donkey. All right, boredom status. All right, we healed. Nice. 30 prestige, 35 gold, and beasts. What is beasts? Oh, I get to select a new beast. The mighty dog, Sir Snail, or the sword-wielding rabbit. Hmm. Hmm. A slow yet deadly unit can only attack adjacent fields, devours enemies and battlefield and elements. Attacking attacks objects on an adjacent field devours the target. Or the mighty dog. Great sword whirlwind. All right, we're going to go with the snail. Cost 15 ink to summon, though. A snail, really? It's funny, in, the, in one of the videos I watched from the devs, Sparkwood, they made it a point to say that in all the medieval manuscripts that had this kind of margin art, the snails were unusually, like, aggressive. They were, like, all over med ancient medieval texts as, like, uh, a formidable opponent for some, for some reason. Yeah. All right, snail. Alehouse, spend gold to permanently increase your starting health. Or, Scriptorium, spend gold to permanently increase your starting living ink. Oh, I have to go here first. Prestige allows you to choose dialogue options available to puny peasants. Being famous does have its advantages. Thank you, Master. I love you, Master. You will now visit a non-combat location. However, you won't face... Here, you won't face a battle, but a decision that will affect your resources. Okay. So, uh, health or living ink? <laughs> it's because salt was so expensive. <laughs> yeah, battle snail. Um, starting ink. Let's do that so we can get snails. Do you wish to study to increase your starting ink? Yes, and I will pay with gold. So we get plus two starting ink. I'm too famous to spend gold. I'm going to take advantage of my celebrity status. I don't have enough prestige for that option. I am very rich and important. I'm showing my disdain for you in order to seem available and lonely. 
<laughs> so that uh okay yeah no let's spend the gold <laughs> new location hey Veneer, what's up you have reached the end of this tiny map and at the end of each map an Inkalunati master awaits defeating them in battle will allow me to continue your journey allow you to continue your journey but first you have to defeat me to pass the final exam all right, what should I focus on in these battles? Most importantly, you need a large diversity of beasts. Always bring the maximum of five beasts with you. You'll soon be getting some new beasts, so plan your strategy carefully and watch out for boredom. Okay. Spend gold, various items. Show me what you got. Rumors say whoever tries your cookies will get better deals. Ooh. You look kind of shady now. Let's go. Show me what you got. Spear wielding fox. So these are both spear wielders. Are they different? Oh yeah, they do different damage. The rabbit has an ability called Here Comes the Butt. Causes an enemy to take a nap and get a headache and decreases their accuracy. The spear-wielding fox has a sadistic thief. Swiper no swiping. The tax steal one living ink droplet from the enemy and adds the same value to his... Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So they are different. They have different abilities. Let's get the bow-wielding fox so we can steal ink at range. Oh, you can get new hand actions too. Interesting. Okay. What are you doing? That doesn't make sense. Master, I'm here to take the final exam. Master, are you okay? You look a bit under the weather. Yes, yes, just remember one thing. Live for today, plan for tomorrow, party tonight. That's my motto. What's the motto with you? All right, so we've got five beasts. Let's go. So after chapter four, the apocalypse will begin and fire sparks will start to come in from the edges of the map. And if there's units or your Inca Lunati in the apocalypse, in the fire, when it triggers, they're gone. Yeah. All right. Inclinati scribers get bored often. Depending on your difficulty setting, each beast you draw during your journey, its boredom level will increase. Okay. If you don't draw a certain beast during the battle, your boredom level will go down by one. Make sure you use different types of beasts in your battles and you'll be fine. Okay. Oh, they started me with a snail? How fortuitous. Okay, so the other master's way up there. 18 health. But I start with a snail. So his ability is Maw. Attacks an adjacent object on the field and devours it. That's great. But he is slow. He can only go a maximum of four. And only two if he wants to attack. All right. Well, I guess we'll start going up. Can they go up the stairs? <laughs> can snails climb stairs? Yes. Yes, they can. That was good. He used his push and knocked me down and killed my snail. <laughs> that makes me want to start over. <laughs> How do you do that again? Uh, all right. Well, that's a horse of a different color. Um, wow. And look how expensive my dogs got because of the boredom factor. They went to eight and 10. All right. Um, let me look at this map. Q 
guess. Should I be going to the left? Should I be doing a two-tiered approach? Yeah, I don't know. Can I summon them all the way up here? I can, but then I get pushed. So let's summon one up here. <laughs> um... This one can go... Yeah, I don't want to get pushed. I wonder, what's the cooldown on the push? Yeah, what's the range on the push? I'm gonna summon one here, and then I'm gonna look at my, uh, my push. My push, if I want to move... I can push anything. Mm. Mm. We should have done old English in chat only. Five, five, five. Can I push one of his guys? Can I push him? Oh, let me do a left push then. And just dump this guy. Why not? Why can't I? Are you telling me it's out of range? What is the range on this? I guess it's a range of two. It's showing red, so I can't do it. Okay, so I can't go all... I can't just go wherever I want. All right. What's the range on swatting? Can I swat it? No. I can swat that for some reason. Ugh, there you go. Damn you. And I'm going to move my character to the right. And get on this ink blot. I probably should have summoned this guy on this ink blot. But I can't. Oh, and this does have a cooldown of one. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. What kind of attack is that? You should know that I can force my beast to explode. I do so. Love the smell of explosions in the morning. I even get an extra drop of living ink for it. Not only can they explode on command, but they also explode when someone kills them. Did I mention they explode, though? It's not fair. That is not fair at all. I don't think I like that. can hit everything up here. It's probably worth doing that. All right, we kill that one name on. Ooh, I wish he was close enough to the master. Oh, I probably could have pushed him first. Balls. All right, and thieving hail of arrows. A kind gesture. There we go. Thanks for the coffee. Thanks, FPS. Thou must beware the explosive nature of the bins and those that consume it them. <laughs> I think this is where that all comes from. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. Okay. So I destroyed that one little thing. Um, what else could we summon? I have 12 ink. Um, should we save up for Sir Snail? Or shall we make a spear dude? Spear dude for 10. Or we can, let's do the fox. We can keep doing foxes. There are only six. Make one fox here. Um, and if I, and we'll put another one here. But what does the fox say? <laughs> I think that's what he says. We could push this guy. No, I can't. Um, let's push me. And then 
next turn can I push him off, maybe? Maybe I shouldn't have moved. Alright, give me that ink. We're up to six ink each. He's gonna bomb us. <gasps> Dropping beans. So the beans don't do tons of damage. Okay, you can encounter different apocalypse types in the Inclinati world. What are they? Find out more information on the instruction tab. Okay. Did it start yet? Is it turn four? No, it's going to start soon, though. How did he heal? Or did I only do two? So we've got that. He summoned another little dork. We'll do four. We're stealing ink when we do that, which is great. Um, I wonder if I should smudge him out. Oh, I can actually smudge the master? There's something satisfying about that. Um, I think I want to do it to this guy. And then... Do I want to summon another guy? I can summon a guy like right in the middle here. Yeah, let's do that. Is that a cat or a fox? These are foxes. These are foxes. Uh, and, and turn? Take a nap? he moves he can go all the way up here this is getting good this is getting better so i want to make sure he can't push me off these ladders and this guy let's get him up to this ladder all right next turn we're gonna be able to do great things terrible things but great Who doth freedom the canis? Who let the dogs out? Oof. I love this. We should have thought of this in advance. Everybody has to talk in old English. That's hard to do, though. Lots of these and thouists and thus. Oh, boy. Okay. So there is apocalyptic fire everywhere. Fire Sparks, a battlefield element that you can stand on, deals three damage to beasts and tinies, standing it at the end of a chapter. Okay. There are some, uh, there's some units that are de like demons that can stand in these no problem. It's kind of OP. Um, thankfully, our tiny Uncle Lunati isn't standing in it, and his is. I think at this point we just... Go crazy and shoot the hell out of them, right? I can push the boom boom off. Yeah, probably can do that. Let's shoot him first, though. Four! Oh, I've got two because I'm a dork. And I have no coordination. Oh, you pushed me into the fire? Is that what you think? What? 
I think the master's just toying with me now. Goodbye. Can I not do it? I'm not close enough to push him. I can push him with this guy. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> just falls right off the page. Bye! Alright, I like that a lot. I can shoot him. Let's shoot him. Four, come on. Four! Yes! How do you like them apples? I can shoot him all the way from down there? This is beautiful. Nice. He's down to six. What the dog do? Now, if I cleave, attacks both adjacent fields at once. I think we want to do that because otherwise he can push me right off. You'll push past objects. So at least this way. Oh, actually, if I roll good, we, we win. <laughs> nice. Okay, cool. See, at first, when he pushed my snail off that first round, I'm like, we're screwed. But, you know, I think that was... We learned a lot from that. I think that, that was actually a very clever tutorial mechanic, right? Like, let's give them a snail. And the maximum range of the snail is going to get me right there. Because most players would do that. Like, ooh, I want to get my snail close to this guy and devour him. And then he just one-shots it. Yeah. And then you learn, oh, you got to be careful where you place your guys. All right, 35 prestige. 80 gold. We get a new beast. Pitchfork wielding creature. The, what? The pitchfork can attack up to two fields away and hit two fields in a line. Can also reach enemies hiding behind obstacles as well as those located on other floors. It's a creature. Okay. Sling wielding creature. Okay, attacks up to three targets, up to six fields away, cannot attack adjacent fields. Or the Bishop Cat can hit up to two fields away or one level, can restore health by purring and put a halo on friendly beasts. It's anointed. Purr, purr, purr. Um, I'm going to try for a kind gesture. Thanks, FPS. I want to do one of the creatures. Give it the I game think. too much credit. Thou is mayhaps Yoda Shakespeare. <laughs> Give it the game too much credit. Thou is. <laughs> Thanks for the bits. Um, I think I want to try. I want to see what one of these creatures looks like. What in doubt? All these cat. I know the cat. The cat's cool, but he also costs eight. Oh my god! Everyone's saying cat. I'm gonna go with my gut though. I'm gonna go with. The Sling creature. But the purring! I know, I know, I know. New hand action. Draw a barrel. Draw a big cauldron or awakening. Wakes a friendly beast up from their nap and gives them an additional turn in the current chapter. No. We want that. We want that. And a talent point. Friendly beasts regain two health at the beginning of each chapter. Hand actions used on friendly beasts increase their halo level by one. That would be a good combo with the waking up from the nap. Moving enemies with a hand inflicts bleeding. Let's do this one. Anointed hands. Wonderful. Now we can start the party. Thanks to you. Let's go. Party! I have to say, bloating and explosions are so satisfying. This is why I never miss a party. All right, next map. Fizz will remember this. I'm sorry, Fizz Geek. I didn't choose the cat. 